A brain injury accident is any type of injury that's caused by trauma or force to the head or brain. You can find these in automobile accident cases, slip and falls, uh, blast injuries, construction site falls. Uh, those are some examples of where that force can cause injury to the head or brain. Typical brain injury that we see in my practice uh, ranges from mild, moderate, severe concussions. Uh, we see closed head injuries, which are not so obvious. Uh, this is when the brain knocks against the skull inside the head due to a force or trauma. Uh, and we also see open head injuries where there's a penetrating force uh, from the force of the impact from an accident. Usually what happens there, it causes the bones and the skull to shatter, which does penetrate the brain matter. Some of the consequences to a brain injury uh, range from permanent brain impairment. Uh, this can be very devastating to the patient going through it. Uh, this can affect motor function, uh, writing, reading, daily activities. We also see behavior pattern changes. Uh, sometimes our clients have sudden uh, habit changes or, or personality changes. Uh, so those are the main consequences that we see in our practice with a brain injury case. Brain injuries are sometimes seen as unique because you can't see them. Uh, for example, a person could walk into a room and have a major brain injury and you would never know it. In order to prove a brain injury accident in a court of law, you have to show what doctors call diffuse axonal injury, known as DAI. Uh, this can be shown by using a neurologist, uh, and there's also a whole host of modern tests uh, that can determine this. There's MRIs, there's CAT scans, DTI, PET scans, and MEG scans. Hiring an experienced brain injury attorney is important. Uh, Number one, the injury itself is a huge responsibility. It's usually very devastating to the client. Uh, depending on the severity of the injury, uh, an experienced attorney will know how to navigate the uh, medical procedures in order to document uh, the brain injury. All of my legal work is done on a contingency fee basis, which means that if I don't win a case, my client doesn't pay me. So if I don't recover, I don't charge my client for my time, effort, fees, or costs. This makes it a no financial risk to the client.